uh, in the earlier 70s and 80s, uh, Bugi Junction was, uh, we call it Bugi's Village. Uh, in Hokkien, it's called Pei Sua Pu. Uh, it's a very uh, vibrant area uh, for food and drink. Uh. A lot of food, uh, small food shops, you know, those olden wonton mi. So, so uh, my dad used to bring me there. I continued to visit um, the Bugis area for uh, its street food until the mid-1980s when the area was finally cleared for uh, redevelopment. And the food was so, uh, uh, not in the shop, uh, but uh, we did push carts uh, on, uh, on the streets. Uh. Many of the stalls were then relocated to the Lavender Food Centre. Uh, with that, I wonder whether we have finally lost um, all those um, famous uh, street hawkers uh, who first started their business in the 1960s in the Bugis area. In the evening also, uh, it is also a very noisy place uh, because uh, a lot of these foreigners, uh, they will drink beer, you know. And um, a lot of transfer sites were there and uh, a lot of military, military men were there. So, uh, and then uh, those days, uh, the, around this area, uh, there, 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 there were a lot of shops, uh, in fact, selling you know, wholesale things, uh, you know, uh, even the firecrackers uh, for the Chinese New Year. Uh, so all these uh, other provision shops, uh, when you want to sell firecrackers, uh, they would come all the way to this area to buy from them. I work in a ocean, a ocean building in 1975 as a security security officer. First is a straight trading shipping. After that the chain into the Apple building. First January 1993, we moved the uh, ocean towers. We were the first tenant and we are the last tenant to move out when the OFC comes out, Ocean Financial Centre comes out. At that time food are very very cheap to say you anywhere in the back lane, any any corner, any back lane they can squeeze and just create a store. So uh, for a wonton main, it's only one dollar soup. If you want dry one, you have to pay premium twenty cents more, one twenty. And I like most is the Boki area, and the, our favorite food there is the chakutel. They're really cheap and good. Uh, the cost price maybe is about. 80 cents to $1.20 at that time because cost of living is not that high but now I don't think you can get it even if you get it I don't maybe you get half or quarter of the portion only Do you know the arcade belonged to Arabs? Long long ago it was known as the arcade Akaf I think uh, the Akaf arcade uh, yeah. but, but the Arabs uh, do not own the property now they did have decided to sell and it's now a much taller building than before and we come to Ocean Financial Centre. <laughs> uh, that's where you, you and I worked for many years, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, ocean building, uh, third ocean building where we were, yeah. uh, was, was, was completed in 1974. And then, I mean, uh, we moved out in 1995. Uh, uh, it's an iconic building, isn't it? Ocean yeah. Financial Centre. Ocean Financial Centre. Yeah. Uh, you remember that, 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 that? That's that, uh, the fourth ocean building. Uh, it's now the fourth, the fourth building on site. Yeah. There were three other buildings before, all known as Ocean Building. You know, as you can see, SMU is located in a very beautiful part of Singapore. You, know, you are seeing an integration of history and new infrastructures together in this very unique space. Because if you look around, the trees are mature trees. So when we created this campus, building this campus, we actually removed, you know, I think the number is 17, trees, put them in nursery for four years, and we brought them back, replanted them on the campus. So the trees, these are all old trees. So it looks like an old campus. The original National Library where there was such yummy, yummy food, and we used to go there to um, study, and also perhaps um, look at boys. Right? Those were indeed, indeed fun days. So yeah, these are my memories and sometimes when I drive around the area, I just think back of all the wonderful days I, I spent in Bras Basa and how things have changed over the last 50 years. And yeah, good things. Progress is always inevitable. 
but I'm happy that I was I had the wonderful memories of the last 40 years. It started off as a harbour port where the major shipping uh, ships were called on it to engage in trading activities. And later on, it became a shipyard and ship repair hub where Capital Group was formed. Now, it became a waterfront, a community and living. The vision was to turn this into the... Sin ki says, I want this. Every meeting he would reiterate, I want a world class waterfront development. It took us about 15 years to start from the master plan until the getting all the approval to start the project. If this is a condominium, we want this to be different. A condominium, it's by the waterfront. Nowhere in Singapore you have living actually by the waterfront. We want to give something extra, a marina. It was really a very industrial looking site with all the workshops, with all the dust and flying around. And it's quite a change if you're right now revisiting the Bay Area. It's a new look, new feel and it's really redefining waterfront living in Singapore. We started off in the 60s, 70s. It was a really tough time but we endure, but we also enjoy the exciting moment. But in our mind, we always say, we can do it. We can do it. The real Kepler story. These are the tough men with bold vision. Together, we march forward Kepler. Majura Kepler. Singapore has made remarkable transformations over the last 50 years and Capitaland is proud to have contributed to its growth. From landmark office developments to unique integrated developments, Capitaland will continue to think unbox and contribute to enhancing Singapore's skyline as it progresses towards SG100.